Tyler Birch Tyler Birch, slash BRD slash, born 1946, is a distinguished professor of philosophy at UCLA. Birch has made contributions to many areas of philosophy, including the philosophy of mind, philosophy of logic, epistemology, philosophy of language, and the history of philosophy. Education and career Birch earned his Ph.D. in philosophy from Princeton University in 1971 where he worked with Donald Davidson and John Wallace. He joined the UCLA faculty that year, 1971, and has taught there ever since, with visiting professorships also at Stanford University, Harvard University, and MIT. He is an elected fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences since 1993 and a corresponding fellow of the British Academy since 1999. He was the recipient of the 2010 Jean Nickett Prize. Philosophical Work Anti-Individualism Birch has argued for anti-individualism. In Birch's words, anti-individualism is a theory that asserts the following, individuating many of a person or animal's mental kinds, is necessarily dependent on relations that the person bears to the physical, or in some cases social, environment. This view, and some variants, has been called content externalism, or just externalism. Birch favors anti-individualism over this terminology, in part because he considers the central issue to be what individuates content, rather than where contents may be located, as externalism may suggest. Birch 2003, 435-6. Birch argues in a similar fashion that a person's beliefs are dependent on the physical world. In his thought experiment he attempted to demonstrate that all thoughts and beliefs have Y contents. In The Meaning of Meaning, 1975, Putnam had argued that the meaning of a natural kind term such as water depends on the nature of the physical world. Birch argues that the difference in the thoughts is attributable to the difference between the nature of stuffs in the respective physical environments. As with the arthritis thought experiment, Dependence of thought on the physical environment is a conclusion that is supposed to follow purely from reflection on the cases in the thought experiment. Birch has extended the thesis of anti-individualism into the realm of the theory of vision, arguing that the contents of representations posited by a computational theory of vision, such as that pioneered by David Marr, are dependent on the environment of the organism's evolutionary history. See Birch 1986. Anti-individualism about thoughts is a controversial thesis. It has been disputed on a number of grounds. For example, it has been claimed that the thesis undermines a person's authoritative knowledge of their own thought contents. See, for example, McKinsey 1991, it has also been thought to cause problems for our understanding of the way that mental states cause behavior. See, for example, Fodor 1991, Birch, 1988 has argued that anti-individualism is compatible with knowledge of our own mental states. He has also argued that it presents no problems for our understanding of causation. See Birch 1989. Origins of Objectivity Birch published his first book-length monograph in 2010, offering a philosophical account of perception heavily informed by empirical psychology. The book was described by one reviewer as an absolutely terrific work conceived and executed at a scale and level of ambition rarely seen in contemporary philosophy. The book's primary aim is to contribute a theory of perception, more broadly, however, it also delivers a subtle and nuanced query into the place of distinctively psychological capacities in the natural order. Other Philosophical Work In the history of philosophy, Burge has published articles on the philosophy of Gottlob Frege and René Descartes. A collection of his writings on Frege, along with a substantial introduction and several postscripts by the author, has been published, Burge, 2005. In epistemology, he has written on such topics as self-knowledge, interlocution, reasoning and memory, and reflection, Burge 2013. He is perhaps most well known for his contributions to the philosophy of mind, including his views on the belief and, most notably, anti-individualism with respect to mental content, which is also known as externalism, the view that the content of one's thoughts depends partly on the external environment. Festschrift devoted mostly to Burge's work on anti-individualism, including extensive replies from Burge to the contributors, has also appeared, Hahn and Ramberg 2003. Since 1978, four of Burge's articles have been chosen as among the ten best of the year by the Philosopher's Annual. Bibliography Books Articles, Selected Notes <laughs>